Yo, what's up? Uh, I'm back. Second upload of the day here on the channel. I think the way I'm going to do things, sometimes I will double upload. I'll do one of like a compilation video and every once in a while I'll do like a single person reacting highlights. And today we're talking about Iso Joe. I don't know why I, uh, Iso Joe, Joe Johnson popped up on my timeline today. And it was just like this one 10 second clip and I was like, man, I got to rewatch a bunch of Joe, Joe, uh, Joe Johnson highlights because I haven't seen him in a long time, man. So House of Highlights put together this whole 11 minute mixtape for Joe Johnson when he was signed with the Detroit Pistons and I think later they waived him but either way Joe Johnson it, from my memory is one of the best his name is Iso Joe for a reason if it was one on one you were on the island because even though he wasn't fast he broke you down and he, he got so many clutch buckets in his career and everything so here we go. Leave a like and also tell me a different individual players you want to see me react to highlights of. Don't always have to be LeBron, Kobe, you know, the best of the best. It can be like these other players that maybe be forgotten about or some of y'all may not even know how good Joe Johnson was. So let's get to it. A lot of these highlights will be completely new to me because even though I've probably seen it before, it's been a minute since I've seen. Was that Leon Poe? Was that Leon Poe getting his ankles taken? I'm sorry. Some of these highlights is probably years and years since I've seen them. But that is yo young ISO Joe. We're going to see highlights of him in Atlanta. We're going to see Brooklyn. We're going to see a couple different places. And that is Leon Poe. Crossed him so hard, he almost fell himself. And that's a late game bucket. Atlanta's kind of popping. This is like, it ain't look like a playoff game. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was a super important game of the season. What do we have? 40 seconds left. Joe Johnson with four seconds. What are you going to do? He's being hounded. That is the dagger over Mo Williams. Oh, my God. Off the, off the glass. That's the dagger. That's game. Another late game situation. Down by three. Double overtime. Step back. Count him. Count him. The man was electric, man. Um... I saw Joe, one of the literally one of the clutchest players. A lot of these highlights will be him hitting game winners, go ahead, a game icer. So far, they've all been game winners or going into overtime shots. That's just what Joe Johnson did, man. Calm, cool, collected. Didn't even react like like nothing. And later in the game, in overtime, 20 seconds left. Cut it out. Cut it out. Joe Johnson just did it, and he's so calm and collected. I mean. I he better show some emotion in these videos. One second left. Game over. We are a total of what? Two minutes into this video and it has been strictly game winners. Go ahead, buckets. Game icers. That's just what he did, man. I'm so, I know I've said it a bunch, but Iso Joe was really that cold-blooded. That cold-blooded. I wish he was still around, but obviously, Father Time does his thing. D-Rose don't jump. That gives them the lead. And uh, I'm guessing they win this game against the Bulls. I mean, that's a good Bulls team, too. All right, so now they up at 10. And now he's just mixtaping Paul Pierce. Come here. Come here. All, all fours. Get up, Paul. Get up, Paul. Had him on all fours. Ah. That is crazy, man. So next, we're still in Brooklyn. This is OT. Three seconds, two seconds, straight to the basket. Okay, I'm going to pause this one. This one is probably the most impressive game winner so far because you have to have the mental clock, bro. When he gets this steal, what was it? When he gets this ball, it is four seconds left. He has to go the length of the court. A lot of people will probably pull up because they think that they have one second left. He got the perfect shot. He got a layup. With four seconds left, he goes down court and get a layup for game. And guess what? Calm, cool, collected. No reaction. No reaction. Joe Johnson, bro. A real, real hooper. Some of these Brooklyn teams, most of these Brooklyn teams end up being pretty um, disappointing, honestly, uh, because, you know, they made all them trades to get the team really good, and then they never ended up being super, super good. But he looks at the rim here, and that is another tie game because Joe Johnson at the ball. This is the series... This series was amazing. And if I'm not mistaken, this was this game went to triple overtime. I think this game went to triple overtime and Nate Robinson ended up getting us the win. 
Nate Robinson took over the series. It went all the way to seven. Derrick Rose was injured, so we needed our backup, Nate Robinson. And Nate Robinson came out, and he played hard and played well. Another OT game, double OT. Tayshaun Prince. Mm. And you know Tayshaun Prince is one of those defenders. Now, in this, he's pretty old, but Tayshaun Prince is always a good defender. Shifted him, and that could have been a that could have been a foul because he had given the landing area. Another one down by three. Honestly, now that I'm watching this, I didn't know he had this many. I didn't know he had this many big time shots. I know he was known to be a cold blooded killer, but I didn't know it was this many. And this is the same game. To go to OT and to win the game. I don't remember how many times All-Star he was, but obviously it wasn't enough. I got to look it up right here, right now. Joe Johnson. Jeez, man. Iso Joe was just cold-blooded. Iso Joe was just cold-blooded. He was a seven-time All-Star. That makes sense. Seven-time All-Star in his career. And he played for about 17 straight years. Shout out to him. Longevity. So now we ain't really just going with game winners. We just got him being hot. Hot, hot. Shout out to Paul Pierce, man. It's crazy. That's like the sixth. How many hit? How many shots did he hit? Oh my God. See, I have not been in the arena where a player was heat checked like this yet. I've been in a lot of NBA games, but never when a player was heat checked like this. Nine three pointers. Is this going to be 10? That's great defense. Like, that is heat check moments, y'all. I need to be at a game like this. Especially at a home game when it's my team doing it. Ten three-pointers right there. And he smiled. You heard the commentator? And he smiled. For the first time ever, it seemed like. Four seconds against OKC. Surge on him. You know, Surge is a pretty good perimeter defender. That's good defense from Surge. Better O. Sometimes the O... Beats the D. And that was a situation right there. Game winner over Surge. Like, that's amazing defense by Surge. The shot gets off by this much. Going into the fourth quarter. Big shot right here. Oh, my God, Nurkic. Oh, my God. I've never seen that one before. Oh, my God, Nurkic. That's why he got traded later this season. Oh, my God. That's crazy. And then the same game. At some point, at some point, y'all, at some point you would think that teams would be like, you know what, we're going to triple team Joe Johnson. Don't even let this man get the sh get the ball to get a shot. Okay, double overtime game right here. And you know who the ball is going to. On the island. You're on the island. They bring a double team. Don't matter. Over. Over. Any reaction? He jumped a little bit, but he ain't even super happy. That's a young Bradley Bill, too. My fault, Bradley. Bradley will eventually hit those same type of shots, but not yet. Not yet. This is early in his career. Wow. All right, we're in the playoffs. Game seven. They up by almost double digits. That'll make it double digits right there. Did he take over the fourth quarter in a game seven? Yeah, it looks like he did. Oh, man. See, this is why I'm glad I'm here because, again, I've, I've always known Joe Johnson was a bucket, but watching the highlights again make you really realize how good of a player he was. That's a big-time shot. Nine in a row in a game seven. Come on, man. It's win or go home. And you're not, you're not at home either. Makes it a little bit more valuable when you hit shots like that. What else we have? Five-point game. Two minutes left. Game seven. Terrence Ross trying his hardest. Oh my God, that's so. That's it seems so easy, but I promise you, that ain't an easy shot to make. That's not an easy play to make. Joe Johnson killing it. Okay, down by one. Brooke Lopez all-time lead scorer in Brooklyn Nets history. Joe Johnson, ten seconds on the clock. J.R. Smith, a good one-on-one defender. Got dead in though. Got dead in now. I saw Jerry Stackhouse on the sideline. <laughs> Those teams were kind of fun, but like Darren Williams didn't live up to the potential after the after they he got there. Then obviously KG and Paul. Um, 
hello, Chris Bosh. Don't reach because when you reach, he'll teach. Um, obviously, Paul Pierce said KG was super old around this time. So you needed Joe Johnson to be that guy, and he was. That's your three seconds left on the shot clock. That's a big time shot right there. It's a big time shot. Allen, oh my God. It's a lot of players that I haven't seen in a long time in these clips. Wait. Wait. Go back. Oh, that was smooth. Shout out to Jared Jack for finishing that with the floater. That's a smooth one right there. That's a smooth one. Jared Jack, he finds a guy, and who is he going to find? Deep. Tie game. One and a half minutes left. Joe Johnson. I was somebody keeping a counter of how many big time shots this man hit in this video. This is another one. To go to triple overtime, potentially. Right there. A tie game. Joe Johnson. Just a bad man. Iso Joe. He had to have more than one nickname than Iso Joe, right? I've always just known him as Iso Joe. Basketball reference has Iso Joe, Joe Cool, Big Shot Joe, Armadillo Cowboy. Armadillo Cowboy. Okay. I guess. That's a young Giannis. Look how skinny Giannis is in this clip. Now the man a beast. Now the man is a beast. Okay. Gets it away from half court. It's gone. You know what's crazy? Oh, I was going to say I don't remember him a part of the Jazz. But if I'm not mistaken, when he was on the Jazz, he had a really big playoff game out of nowhere. Like, at this point, he's old. When he's with the Jazz, he's old. But if I'm not mistaken, he had a really big playoff game a part of the Jazz. He only played 23 games there. He averaged 7 points per game. So he was he late in his career. This is like the last year of his career. And if I'm not mistaken, he had one big old game. And maybe you'll see it at the end of this video because it was like one of his last moments. Um, and I could be mixing things up because this is all off the dome. I'm looking at his playoff stats. Here it is. Yeah, this is the moment. This is the moment I'm thinking about. This is the moment I'm thinking about. On Utah Jazz. He's a guy that does He's only averaging 20 minutes a game for this Jazz team. And the playoffs is even less. But he hits the game winner in game one as a 5C going against a 4C. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below other players you want to see me do these one-on-ones of. Joe Johnson, I think was a perfect guy to start off with, honestly. I saw a lot that I ain't seen in a long time, or that I've never seen. So shout out to Joe Johnson.